J.G. Pajot, who signed on to stay with the Islanders for the next six years, makes his debut here at Nassau Coliseum against the New York Rangers. He's playing some of their best hockey of the season, are 10-3 and three with the All-Star break, since the All-Star break. As this is D'Angelo right near the line, across the ice, and a look for Lindgren, backdoor Panarin, and he scores! Artemi Panarin set up in the circle, and it's the Rangers who grab the 1-0 lead where that guy is that great hockey sense and so he finds the openings out there and gets that puck across quickly bouncing puck kept at the line by Lindgren first one there is Adam Fox Fox cruising in back to the net a Long Island native Fox out for Lemieux and he scores Brendan Lemieux gets it through traffic from range and the Rangers are up two I'm not sure that he, he saw that. Fox just keeps his feet moving cross ice to, to Lemieux. And he just snaps a, a wrist shot. Trying to bounce back from playing so well. And now down by two as Letty shot off a shin pad as Anders Lee was cutting across the slot. Couldn't direct it on goal, though. Then Pollock off his back foot. That one hit the glass, and it's tapped in by Pajot! What a big year when you talk about offense. And he just wires that shot. Hangs right in there, and he gets a nice little bounce and just a goaltender. See the Truba train coming, and Pajot throws the gloves off and confronts Truba. Truba's got the size advantage as they both go down to the ice, and Dal Cole shaking up. Islanders killed off the penalty they needed to. Now they got to see if they can gain some momentum. The Rangers. Are Good in on the four check, so they picked up a little momentum. Lindgren over the shot, they score! Brent Howden with a tip on a Smith shot, and the Rangers regain their two goal lead. The whole, whole 10 game segment and not have anything go in, it's just all about timing. There's a one timer. Look at this deflection, are you kidding me? For the opportunity as Everly slides it down for Ryan Pollock. Pollock back out for Taze with a wrist shot, scores! No goal! They're waving it off on contact with Georgiev from Anders Lee. No indecision there at all. We'll take another look at it. We'll see if the Barry We have talks. no goal on the play as the New York Islander forward was in the crease, not allowing the goalie to play his position. This is the only angle that's going to tell the story. The overhead. His right foot is in the now, crease. Now, let's see the push by the defenseman. That was, that was. Everly will be out of the box in two as Barzell. It's a 14-second power play as Everly heads to the net. Barzell hits him with a pass, drags to the backhand, scores! And, and in she goes, and the Islanders are back within, back within one, and it's... Now Barzell, pull up, steps, gives back to Barzell. Here's Taves in the slot side of the net, they score! And the Islanders have tied this game up, and honestly, it's an appropriate goal for the Islanders there. Fox will pin it against the end wall and hang on to that point. But the Islanders come back from down two in the third period to force overtime tonight at the Coliseum. Nelson, Beauvillier, and Letty against Panarin, Zibanejad, and D'Angelo as Panarin strips the puck. And here he goes. Letty trying to catch him and cut him off. And Beauvillier got him from behind. But Zibanejad wires it home. 28 seconds into overtime. And the Rangers win it. The back check came from Letty and Beauvillier. But nobody was worried about me because Zibanejad and the puck came right to him. Oh, it was Beauvillier turned it over. And Letty, Letty comes back, and look at all the Islanders, all three guys, they've got the puck. And a great play there by... It was Panarin who Panarin. set it up. Yeah, he just kind of banged it into the middle of the ice. And look how far out Varlamov is. I mean, he did everything he could. That's just a perfect, a perfect shot. But Brock Nelson's got to be coming back in the middle of the ice, and that was a mistake by the by the Islanders. No need for him to go over there. He's the third guy back. He's got to protect the middle of the ice, so the Islanders make a mistake.